السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ فرنڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو می چینل ان دس سیشن وی ویل سی ہاو وی کین ڈیٹیکٹ آر شارٹ سرکٹ ان دا پرائمری سائیڈ ان دا ہارٹ ایریا دیٹ از دا بگیسٹ پرابلم ان دا پاور سپلائیز دیر آر مینی کمپوننٹس ان دس سیکشن لائن اینڈ نیوٹرل انٹر فرام ہیئر دین وی ہیو فیوز اینڈ آفٹر فیوز می بی وی کین فائنڈ سم NTC or PTC like this black component or sometime the NTC may be in the second line fuse in the line or fuse in the neutral NTC here PTC here are both fuse and NTC in same line in line and neutral across these both lines we have class X capacitor that is EMI filter sometimes we find voltage arrestor MOV metal oxide resistor Then we have dual line filter. It is a just piece of wire that is wound on the ferret core. After that, sometime we have capacitor here. Like uh, this capacitor. Sometime we have two capacitors. Sometime it is blue color, sometime in yellow color, sometime in orange color. Then there is a resistor. It is RLC circuit. After that we can find two filters. Class Y capacitors, the small one capacitors. Then we have bridge rectifier and after that we have a capacitor that is bulk capacitor or smoothing capacitor. Sometime in the protection of this capacitor there is a voltage arrestor MOV as well. Then we have winding and MOSFET. This is the total circuit which is involved in this short circuit. Any one component in this area can cause to burn the fuse. First of all we will make cold testing and I will demonstrate how we can detect the problem. I will connect the multimeter in line and neutral. Set multimeter to continuity mode. Our resistance mode it must be high resistance in kilo ohms. It is 680 kilo ohms are set to continuity. If you cannot find the continuity, the resistance, check this fuse. If the circuit is open, at that time we cannot find the continuity from this circuit. We can see line and neutral. After fuse, we have this area. That is this capacitor. If this capacitor is short circuit, from here, we connected multimeter high and low here. If this capacitor is short circuit, it will give continuity. Then in some power supplies we have MOV resistor. It is over voltage arrestor. If there is a high voltage spike for protection, over voltage protection, this component becomes short circuit and it will cause to blow the fuse. Because it is protection capacitor for high frequency, this for high voltage. NTC or PTC, this is for over current protection. Over voltage, over frequency, high frequency and high current. After that this filter, this filter does not matter anything because it is in each line, line and neutral separate coils. After that sometime we have, here we have capacitor for protection. If this capacitor will become short circuit, we will find continuity. If the bridge rectifier is short circuit, we will take one volt drop or we will find low resistance. If pair, if any diode is short circuit, we will find continuity. Any one diode is short circuit, diodes most of the time become short circuit in pair. If two diodes are short circuit, we will find continuity here. If this capacitor is short circuit, we will find continuity here. If the MOSFET is short circuit, we will find continuity. These are the basic reasons. And then, sometime all the circuit is good. Sometime the drive circuit, the MOSFET driver that is this IC, it is damaged. It have internal short circuit. 
and it does not oscillate because it have to turn off and turn on this MOSFET if this MOSFET is ok all the circuit is good but if the IC is not good it is pulled up at that time it will allow to turn on MOSFET all the time at that time what will happen the negative line will connect it directly to the positive line and it will cause to flow over current in the primary side it will cause to damage this fuse sometimes this capacitor is bad it will make short circuit sometimes this protection MOV that is for protection of this capacitor it is short circuit it will damage this fuse so these are the checkpoints first of all we need to check the input resistance it must be high resistance if you find in 100 ohms or like that it will make short circuit the basic reason for this video my one viewer he is facing problem and from yesterday we are communicating to each other he is sending questions and I am uh, replying him so this video is uh, dedicated to Abu Tahir I am replying him and he is sending message and I am replying him so it is time taking so maybe this video will helpful for him and helpful for you as well for cold testing first of all how we can test check the continuity of the fuse it must give continuity if the fuse is good this is our first checkpoint then ohms and connect to input terminals line and neutral it must be high resistance in kilo ohms 500 kilo ohms 600 kilo ohms that's okay if high resistance that's good if it is low resistance it can be due to any component due to this filter filter capacitor due to MOV due to this capacitor due to these two capacitors if these two both capacitors sometime these capacitors also make problem if both capacitors will become short circuit at that time it will give easy path from high to low line and in some cases one capacitor is damaged and we connect the earthing point the ground terminal safety ground to the supply and if one capacitor is damaged and line voltage will go in chassis and ground it will cause to blow the fuse so we need to check the resistance between line neutral and ground between ground and line it must be open between neutral to ground it must be open so these are our, these are our checkpoints now for test purpose first of all remove this bulk capacitor it is our first point we remove this capacitor in the first step discharge it now we can test the capacitor discharge this capacitor set multimeter to capacitance it is 994.11 so it is 100 microfarad 100 microfarad for 450 volt so it is 95 that's good now set multimeter to diode mode connect at the capacitor two terminals one diode and this is open one side it is giving one diode second side it is open so it is giving continuity between the internal diode of this MOSFET that is the safety diode recovery diode of this MOSFET this is the capacitor positive terminal that is connected to cathodes of these two diodes okay we will connect it in this way 
forget about capacitor where are the cathodes of two diodes connect red lead here and at input terminal it must be open red lead at cathode any one cathode the bar side so it must be open now move this lead to the anode of other two diodes input terminal it must give one diode forward voltage second diode forward voltage let's see here when I connected to cathode at this point we remove this capacitor so that that time this capacitor will not interrupt in our reading now we are taking open circuit here why because we are connecting red lead at the cathode side so diodes are reverse bias when we are moving this red lead to anode so this diode will become forward bias here and here the both diodes if any diode will short circuit what we will receive we will receive short circuit let's check it for example I am taking between this diode and input terminal 0.5 volt and if unluckily this diode is short circuit if this diode is short circuit I will receive continuity and if I will receive continuity between this terminal so that means this diode is short circuit because from this point we have one diode in this path second diode in this path and we can determine which diode is giving continuity here we can determine where is the problem here or here if this diode is bad at that time it will give continuity with the second terminal here if we are finding continuity here here it is giving one diode but this diode will cause to give continuity because it is connected in this line one diode here second diode. the similar here black lead to the cathode side and red lead input terminal black lead at cathode red lead at input terminal we are testing one diode so if this diode is short circuit it will give continuity now we are testing this diode if this diode is short circuit what we will find we will find continuity here we will find that this diode is short circuit if this diode is short circuit it will give continuity here and we will find that this diode is bad and if we are finding diode drop voltage 0.5 volt that means the diodes are good now if the diodes are good and everything is good check diode drop voltage here at capacitor input terminals black lead at positive terminal that is here positive and this one is ground so it will give diode drop voltage of this rectifier that is here rectifier inside this MOSFET now the second thing from here to here we verified that the both terminals are good we find that everything is good but we are finding continuity where is the problem the problem this MOSFET if this MOSFET is bad we will find continuity if we cannot find any short circuit here at capacitor and we cannot find anything short circuit here what is there at that time this resistor that is connected to the gate of this MOSFET gate and ground that resistor is open we have bad connection between gate to ground resistor that is here it is pull down resistor to discharge the gate if this resistor is good if all these checkpoints are okay MOSFET is good cold testing is good then the fuse is burning blowing out at that time replace this SMPS controller IC this IC is bad 
why because it is pulling up the gate all the time when there is a permanent high gate drive at that time it will allow permanent switching and it will allow to flow the current all the time because it must have a high frequency switching signal if it does not have high frequency switching signal it is pulled up or it is turning on all the time at that time the current will flow and it will cause a short circuit on this rail now let's connect the capacitor when you are connecting the capacitor always take care for the polarity if you will connect it in reverse direction it will damage the circuit immediately and the capacitor will blast within no time how we can find the polarity if there is no marking on the PCB locate the cathode side of the diodes that is the positive terminal of the capacitor when you are connecting power supply for test purpose always connect series lamp so that if there is a anything short circuit series lamp will glow and our circuit will not damage more otherwise a very single problem can destroy the power supply or it can make a huge loss in the power supply another thing some power supplies don't have this MOSFET separate MOSFET at that time maybe the power supply have built-in MOSFET in this IC what we will do we will locate the negative terminal of the capacitor and locate positive terminal discharge the capacitor it must be discharged connect the cap multimeter in diode mode or continuity mode and connect across the capacitor if you find continuity that means there is something wrong what is the wrong at that time our this IC is making short circuit this is the negative terminal we will see negative terminal is reaching to this pin that is the source pin and the drain four pins are connected to transformer winding transformer winding second end the positive end is connected here negative end through this IC so this time this IC have internal short circuit and it is it will cause to burn out the fuse immediately now I will connect the power supply to the power and we will see the lamp lamp will glow for a while and then it will turn off it is not turned off it is allowing a routine current but if there is something wrong how we can locate set multimeter to AC voltage never touch any component in the hot side check voltage AC voltage at input terminal 31 volt now check voltage across the fuse it must be zero voltage if we find all supply voltage as we find here if you find all the voltage across the fuse that that time the fuse is open if the fuse is good it will not drop any voltage now the voltage across this dual line filter and then at the input terminal of the bridge rectifier either it is using four diodes or either it is using molded pack diode it must receive voltage AC voltage set to DC voltage connect across the main DC capacitor here were 230 volt Two three hundred twenty-five, two hundred thirty, two hundred thirty volt. Multiply into one point four one four to take the peak voltage. These voltage must be at the capacitor. This is our line input, 
and this is the bridge rectifier it is converting into half peak here we have RMS voltage and this is the peak voltage if you find the stable peak voltage here that is 325 volts and these are stable which we calculated here 325 volt so that means our capacitor our rectifier our this circuit is working properly and we don't have any fluctuation here the voltage are 0 0.6 0 0.7 326.7 0 0.7 and if it is fluctuating from 330 volt to 310 volt 310 to 340 volt it is making spikes that time there is something wrong in the circuit now if the all circuit is good how we can verify the problem in in the IC or no first we will check the voltage here on this capacitor so it is dropping 10 volt okay that's safe if it have more than 50 volt never touch to the circuit the power is removed now what we will do we will locate the pin that is driving this MOSFET so we will remove these two components which are coming from this IC if you find if you remove all the components and you find there is nothing wrong open these two components which are connected to the drive pin open these two components which are connected directly to this pin of this SMPS driver IC and now we will apply power this time we disconnected the dr drive we applied power power supply is not powered on why because we di disconnected the drive now we will check the voltage it is 330 volt in this case when you remove this drive signal and the power supply becomes stable that means this IC is bad we have to replace it these are the checkpoints in this way we can verify where is the problem which component is bad if these points are clear at that time our circuit will stable and it will not burn the fuse i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh